Hi again gang, third video here of the new session. Uh, what I want to do today is show you a little bit about what quantization can do in a modular synthesis uh, setup. Basically, we all have uh, some sort of sequencer. If you've got a digital sequencer, everything is chromatic. You're going to have an, uh, a, a pitch based on the MIDI key that you hit and the MIDI CV converter you have. But if you're in the analog world entirely, you've got sequencers that are capable of a full range of notes, including notes that are not necessarily in tune with any sort of scale. So what you're going to need with that is a quantizer. The quantizer I have, I have a, a couple. I have a, a MFOS, Music from Outer Space Quantizer, that I, I've got on the bench right now that I finished, but I have a correction to do. But I've always had, uh, for a long time here, the wired mini wave. Now one of the great things about the wired mini wave, and I'm just going to talk about the standard, uh, the, the, the final bank of the original version, bank that was dedicated to quantizing. Uh, essentially, that is Bank 16, and uh, Bank 16 is dedicated to quantizing analog si uh, signals. It's got a bunch of different scales in there. I'm not going to get into all the names. You can go online, download the manual if you want to check those out. But I want to show you a little bit about how to use quantizing and explain what it can do with sequences here in the modular world. So let me go ahead and bring in a pure analog sequence. You're going to hear good notes and bad notes. <laughs> And I, I do want to apologize for using just the camera. I am being a little bit lazy tonight trying this new setup out. If these videos come out okay, uh, it may result in better videos going forward. So this is the pure analog signal from the MFOS sequencer. What I'm going to do is patch down into the quantizer output from the blasted mini wave, wired mini wave. are a little bit different there. Let's go ahead and change through some of the bank settings, and what I want you to listen for is the tonal pitch differences as the quantizer essentially limits the analog signals to notes that make sense in the particular scale that it's set to. Simple turn of a knob and all of a sudden you have a different tone, different notes. very interesting in a song when you want to do uh, a change of scale, if that's something you want to do, if you want to just have a change up. Again, I'm not adjusting the sequencer at all, I'm just changing the quantizer here. See what you can do in random mode once you have it limited with a quantizer. Yeah, so even though it's random, it's going through those quantized notes so it's in scale and makes sense tonally. Now if we go down and adjust the rate here a little bit, come on down with me. Just speed that up. Some of you like it like that, let's see what happens. over to something different. Mm -hmm. 
swing time setting going down there, so let's check this out. Once again, a lot of stuff possible with the modular synthesizer. The important thing is never to give up, always seek new information, and as you move through this process, you will learn more about all the uh, excuse me, all the modules you thought you previously knew everything about. It's amazing. One module is one module, but when you start adding a chain of modules together, the possibilities really do become almost limitless. So thanks again for stopping by. Check out in the next video.